Hi everybody and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I'm the Application Specialist for Tecla PowerFan. Today, I want to present a tool that was released in the last service pack of 2021 i version of Tecla APM, which now allow companies to use their advanced bill of materials or preliminary lists coming from an IFC file, which is more flexible for the import process than the KISS file and gives you a way to identify the changes in the materials as well. Now, Advanced Bill of Materials or Preliminary List is a bill of materials that include the main steel members for a building or a portion of this, and it is used by companies to buy material in advance for mills or warehouses, but in major volumes, or because, you know, simply the sizes and shapes are complex to find in the normal market that they need to take some time in advance before even they have the final drawing to buy this material. I did a video of a couple of months back about the whole workflow, and I'll make sure to include that link, but you can go and check it out, and that can explain the whole workflow, even the purchasing portion of that part and how that can be linked to production control. Now, we have always recommended and still going to keep recommending companies to use preliminary lists or ABMs once the model of the main portion, at least, is not going to have representative changes. However, uh, we understand that situations happen. So if you have changes, at least this IFC import process is going to help you to identify those changes. And that's why I see this as a heavy request through the last years for several clients. And that's why we make this happen. Uh, also, one thing that you want to make sure is that when exporting the IFC, you are including the preliminary mark. Now, it doesn't really matter too much to us what kind of IFC format you export as long as it's not a surface geometry because that will not have any information, but it can be a coordination view or a steel fabrication view. Either any of those works just fine, but you also want to make sure that in the proper sets, uh, you have the preliminary mark selected so it's being exported in the IFC. So let me just let this load real quick here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's saved on, under a user defined attribute. So that's where you will find that right here. Uh, I go to the user defined attributes tab and then this is pretty much finishing loading. There we go. You can ex expand the beams. You don't necessarily have to do it in each one of the different categories. With, with you doing it on the beams that will work for any of the other ones. And then I just scroll down. This is an alphabetic order. So you can see here that I have the Berlin mark checked off. So that will be exported. You want to make sure that that's the case for you. You can even save that and not just as for this model, you can save that as your default. So you make sure that that's always included in your IFC. After that, you simply export the IFC and that's what we will use to import that into the combining module in Tecla EPM. So let's go ahead and get it started and, and see how that works. So the import process, it works from the file import menu. And now under the combining options, you can see that the IFC is the first option on the list. Now you can still use, keep using the other formats if that's your preference, but now this is an extra option for you. So I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, let me just go and find uh, the files that I want to import in here. I'll go ahead and do the first one first. This one right here, import this file. The, the import initial import process is pretty similar to what you were used to it. Uh, remember, you create the job number, you can link that to your project, man, project management jobs, all that works just fine. I just go ahead and say, uh, this is my job number one from 2020-201. I'll fill all the information later for the purpose. I'll just go ahead and import this thing. And the first time that you import an IFC, you will see this, which is pretty similar to estimating if you have seen that screen. It's a mapping screen. Now, if you are not using any of these, you can ignore it, but you know, I will recommend you to create a map. So that's what you will be using in the, in the future imports of the process. You can see I'm calling this ABM and then I can go here and say, all right, so this uh, preliminary mark, for example, this one right here, that's going to be my reference number. That's how we call it in APM. So I'll just map that. And then you can see if anything else is, you know, useful for you to create some categories or establish some kind of configuration, like the name of the assemblies. Uh, any of that can be used for any of the other Tecla APM fields. You can redirect and, and point those to a specific, and then they will be helpful to create filters in reports or stuff like that. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use the reference number. Uh, click OK. Yeah, I'm going to save these changes. 
and then this just goes and imports the whole list of material now once that's done i can go and open the combining open that job and show you how that looks there it is there is all my steel and i have the reference number in each one of those as you can see so uh, the normal purchasing process you'll do the same as you will realize in the normal workflow you can run the combining here you can send this to purchasing and run, and run the combining in there all that works the same but what i really want to show you in this video is also when you import an, I, an abm that has changes on it how those will be flagged in the import process so let's go ahead and do that real quick so following the same procedure let me just go ahead and import an ioc uh, this time i have already here a file created where i have i think some changes in some of the members uh, let me just go ahead and import that uh, before when you were doing this with a keys file you can still go in and import this but it was just adding those as extra pieces now this is following the GUID numbers in the IFC so that will help you know to identify what's actually changing that's the difference a keys file does not include a GUID number so it was kind of complicated to do this traceability so if I just go and save this and do an add and replace yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter if, if most of the material in this ABM is the same. It will identify that and it will not make any changes if there is nothing to be done. Uh, also, you can see here that since I, I saved my ABM mapping, now it's just asking me if I want to use that, which I will say yes. It will keep going with the import. And let me just open the log here in a more clear view to see what actually found. It was pretty quick, but we can see here the changes. Uh, you can see that the BM67, uh, it changed the quantity because one of those went from uh, 24 by 76 to 24 by 68. Same length, use different material. You can see also here that uh, two columns were changing from uh, 14 by 109 to 14 by 120. And then also that the CL2-10, uh, two pieces were pretty much deleted. So the, the quantity changed from four to two. So this will really help you to identify what's happening. If you are uh, one of those people that is purchasing material from ABMs and you are importing second or even third files to the process, this will at least tell you exactly what is changing and it will help you to take the preventions needed for this. Hopefully you find this helpful. Let us know if you need any help. Please feel free to contact Helpdesk at any point of time. And as always, thank you for watching.